Hi, and welcome to the Home Assistant How-To with Beardy Tinker. Today, we are going to configure Telegram. Stick around and we'll start in 10 seconds. So, today we are going to configure Telegram. Uh, this will be a bit longer one because there are a lot of steps you have to do, but it's also a great tool for notifications. For example, you can add all the home members to one uh, group and chat with your home. You get status notifications about weather conditions, doors, windows open, heating, cooling. Uh, I use it also to get additional information from my 3D printer, etc. My presumption for this is that you already have Telegram account created. I hope you do. For this tutorial, I'm going to use the web interface for Telegram. First thing we have to do is we have to open a new web page and the URL is web.telegram.org. Let's open it. Okay. And here you have a list of all your chats on the left side and we are interested in Botfather. If you do not see Botfather on the left side, what you have to do is you can type in Botfather and you search and voila, it opens. So first thing we have to do is we have to create new bot and let's create new bot. We will give it a name, we will call it Beer Dead Tinker. And now we have to, to choose a name for this bot. It will be Beer Dead Tinker Dash Bot. Beer Dead Test. Bot. Bearded test bot it is. So um, when you finish this configuration part, what you will find is you will get uh, access token for this uh, bot. You have to write it down, copy it, save it. But you will also be able to get it from your uh, bot father or recreate new one if you need new one. The first part of the configuration is done. What we have to do next is we have to uh, communicate with our bot. So as I said, my bot name is bearded test bot. So next thing we have to do is we have to find it. Bearded test bot. And we have it here. Let's add it. And let's start our conversation with it. So let's type test me for beginning. Why am I doing this? Because we need to get the information about my uh, uh, ID and this chat ID. Let's find it now. Uh, and this really is just sending and keeping messages in the queue to bot, so it's easier for us to find it. Okay, so now that we have done that step and started communicating, now we have to open new a browser window. Here you have to type in very long uh, URL, so it's api.telegram.org slash bot, and we have to copy here information that we got from our bot father. This is that uh, HTTP API a very long text string. So let me copy it. And this is the string you will receive after you send the message. Everything is okay. And we have here a uh, chat and ID for that chat is this number here. So let me copy that number and that number is needing for us to finish our configuration inside the uh, Home Assistant. Let's finally head back to our Home Assistant. Let's open Configurator. Let's select our configuration file. And at the end, we will be adding configuration for Telegram. 
we have to define first Telegram bot. Telegram bot. We will be using uh, as a platform pooling. Pooling. Next thing we have to define here is API key. API key. And we will be using once again secrets and telegram api will be future name of it now we want to define uh, with what chats we allow these bots to communicate with you have here option to list both chats as a one-to-one -one communication and groups so it's allowed chat ids and you just type in all the chat IDs that you want this bot to communicate. So this is the number that we got from our uh, test communication. And for me, it's 800-19211. Okay. If you, for example, have multiple chat IDs, groups, individual, whatever, you can just list them below as many as you like. Well, maybe not as many, but a couple, that's no problem. Next thing, what we have to do, next thing, what we want to do is we want to define notifications. For this, we will uh, type notify. Please bear in mind, uh, I don't know if you have configured notified before or not, if you already did, so you can just add it below. So for me, this is the first uh, configuration of notifications. Uh, I want to define platform and platform will be telegram. Uh, next, what I can do is I can give it name, name, and we will call it bearded bot. And uh, the only other command here, what we need to define is uh, we have to define chat ID. And this is chat ID uh, where I want to receive notifications. So this can be one. Usually uh, what I have in my personal setup, this is a group ID. So all the household members can join this group and get notified. But here I will be using the same uh, chat ID I got earlier. So it's 8001921. Let's save this. Okay, so now we have defined our uh, Telegram bot and that we will be using pooling and we have also defined that we will be using notifications from the uh, Telegram. What we must not forget is that we have to go to our uh, secrets file, configuration, secrets. And here what we have to do is we have to add Telegram. API, so it's Telegram API, and here we have to copy that long string we received when we were configuring our bot. Let's paste it here. Let's save it. Okay, so it's configuration, server control, check configuration, and let's restart our server. Now we just have to wait for server to restart. Okay, our server is back online. So what's, let's check logs. Let's go to services. And what we can do now is we can use notify and we can send message to uh, our robot or ourselves. 
let's test it. And we should be now able to get message inside our Telegram. Let's go back to our Telegram website. And here you can see that we have one notification and we have test here. So everything is working as it should be. Thank you once again for watching Home Assistant How To with Bearded Thinker. I hope that uh, configuring this Telegram component wasn't too confusing. There are various other options what you can do. For example, you can have it send you images from your uh, surveillance system if this is connected to your Home Assistant, you can have it uh, answer you and send you files. Uh, you can get notifications if outside weather conditions change. And of course, you can get notifications, for example, if there is uh, severe weather storming from Meta Alarm that we already did tutorial on. If you have any question or comment about this video or any other video, or you have suggestion for future how-tos, please drop me a line down below in the comment section. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified on future updates. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and I will be seeing you in next Home Assistant how-to. Thank you, bye-bye and have fun.